This is the evil in our midst. It comes from both sides. The left, communist and authoritarian, freedom-hating, and the right, our supposed allies, too complacent in their positions to act, too fearful of losing their power to push against a system that maintains it. The question then is, can we stop what's coming from the left, when those professing allegiance to freedom welcome its destruction, so they may wrest from the world votes and money and power to fight what they allowed? The answer is yes, we can stop it. Because freedom, we know it well, we feel it, and a taste once known is hard to forget. But let us not be lounging fools, thinking we have the luxury of time to act and the right side of history to guide us inexorably toward victory. None is guaranteed, and reliance on either is folly. We don't have time to waste because the change has already begun, the inflection point of evil met and passed. It is a snake having already bit us, teeth deep in our flesh, the poison released. Our only hope now is the antidote, the recovery another sharp jolt and a struggle for survival. But let the moment we have to remedy the wrongs we've allowed to cement pass us by, and the snake will have its dinner. The little time we have must be used to produce change. None can be wasted, lest our future be laid waste by ambivalence and cowardice. But what about the right side of history? Will it win us the battle? Well, just ask the untold civilizations now and long past who, though vindicated by time, lived their lives dejected beneath the weight of a boot. The right side of history then becomes only a feeble pronouncement mumbled quietly in private by those still amazed that their lack of action and courage produced exactly what should have been expected. Nothing. So use what you have now if you wish to keep it before it's taken. Push back against the insanity and speak your words as if, unspoken, you may never have another chance to speak them. Let the truth be all you speak and all you accept. Allow in a little poisonous lie and it will become a tide that washes in and takes our future with it as it goes. I'm Donovan Weiss.